In this video, we're going to do anchors, etc. We're going to be doing the etc. part first because, well, the anchors are more fun. I want to save the fun part for last. Every freighter has some sort of strake along the side, whether it's a, a steel fender or a wooden fender or just hull reinforcement. And it's a nice aesthetic to build into your model. This one is for a 600 footer. Note that I've used a long strip of cardstock. This actually came from a Manila folder because it's a lot longer than uh, your standard time card. It's important for that to be straight. And you have to measure between where the deck is located, where the strike's going to be located. It has to be done on both sides. So I invented this little tool right here. What you do is uh, you just fold it over the side and you measure with the fold where the top of the strake is. Then you go to the other side and proceed to make a series of little marks. You can see the little marks here already made on this model. Let's try to keep it in focus. Now we're going to align our strake on it with a little bit of glue. For this, we're going to use white glue. Why? Well, because the old-fashioned white school glue doesn't grab the way that the yellow wood glue does. So it allows you to make some adjustments once you stick it in place. Don't be afraid to get some glue on your fingers, folks. We always do it. Now, we're going to make uh, just a nice little bead all the way down one side of the paper. I think you get the point here, so I don't really have to show you the entire thing. And now take your fingers and get a nice coating of glue all the way along. It's important to start one side where you started the other side. Otherwise, when you look at it from the bow on, they're going to look like they're out of line. And now we take a look at our lines. We match each one as we go along the piece of paper doing our best to keep it really straight. It'll want to be straight on its own, but it, you really have to take a look at it. Next, we're going to do the anchors. That's the fun part. Here you see a hose pipe and a good old fashioned anchor. First thing we're going to do is we're going to make something that nobody's ever told you about before unless you worked with some of my rocket kits when I had Dr. Zooch model rockets. It's called Funky Glue Putty. What you do is you put some on your fingers and it's got to be yellow glue by the way but you just rub your fingers together and keep rubbing and keep rubbing and hope you don't have anything to do for a little while with that hand because you're going to be rubbing for quite a while. Pretty soon you'll see it start to come together. It'll start to harden and it'll start to turn into almost a putty. Eventually you'll be able to knead it into a shape. It gets pretty sticky. But once you get it going you'll get the hang of it and you'll come up with a shape that's sort of like this sort of like a small pill. Take your X-Acto knife and cut it pretty much evenly in half. Then take those two halves and turn them into balls. The little balls should be just about the size of a common BB. Maybe a little bit bigger. Next you get your 1 8 inch drill bit. And we're not going to use the drill end, we're going to use the blunt end. Take the ball 
and one at a time push right in the middle. Make it into sort of a donut. And it'll come out looking like this. Do that with both of them. They do not have to be perfect. Next, we're going to take one of our time cards here and we're going to align where we're going to put these anchor hose pipes. So, get it nice and level, and that's the best way to do it, just like that, using it sort of like a T square. And then make a mark where the level point is. Next, take a perfect square of your time card material, fold it exactly in half so that all edges come together. This is going to be a guide. What you're going to do is you're going to get a one-eighth of an inch punch and punch a hole through it. You can do it with the drill bit as well, but it's easier with a punch. Next, fit that onto the bow and bring it down until you see your line. Like that. Now let's get a little better look at it here. We'll turn this around. And there it is, inverted, but that's where the way I like it. Now, take a pen or a pencil and just trace around the circle. Keep in mind we used a 1 8 inch punch or a 1 8 inch drill. That means the circle should be about 1 8 of an inch. Now take your drill and drill on in there. And this, again, does not have to be perfect. Just get it as good as you can. Sometimes the balsa wood walks the way it wants. Next, by this time, your two hose pipes should be pretty dry donuts. Put them on an emery board. And what we're going to want to do is flatten one side of one. Each one has to have one side flat. What that does is it helps it conform better to the flat bow. It also makes it adhere a little better. It doesn't have to be totally flat, but you want to flatten it. Remember, only do one side, folks. We need the round edge on the other side. Now, here's the portions of our anchor. First of all, we've got this piece of paper. That's going to make our crown. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. The crown is the crown is put upon the arm and glued in place. Now we're going to cut out the blades or the flukes. Use some very thin balsa wood. You can usually get that with little model planes, but very very thin balsa wood. I usually cut out more than 4. Next, you're going to take your crown and put some glue on it. A toothpick helps. And the object is to take this and roll it around so it goes all the way around until you run out of paper. How long should the paper be? Eh, long enough. I usually go with about the length you're seeing here, maybe a little bit less. Next, after those have dried, right along the arm, you're going to put some glue. Take a fluke and glue it on. Very simple. Do that three more times and you're going to have two anchors. Now, if your fingers are kind of fat uh, or unable to do it that way, just use a tip of an X-Acto blade. Just touch it a little bit enough to hold on and then put it against there. Allow to dry. And you see it's not perfect, but it's an anchor. Now you got your donuts, your, your hawse pipes. And I usually take a pencil and I try to make a little impression on them. That's where almost the bottom is going to be. 
I'd say almost the bottom because you kind of want these anchors to point just a little bit angled fore and aft. Next, get some glue, paint the area with some glue. You can paint right over the uh, hole you drilled. And the best way to apply these is to take your drill bit and put your donut on it. Get a little more shaft there. And stick it right in where you want the hose pipe to be. And next I move it around a little bit until I've got that index that we marked on it where I want it. Just like that. And then spin the drill bit to make sure it's loose and work it out spinning and it should set perfectly. Now, to apply the anchors. You could use a shaft and just put it in there and then glue the anchor onto the end of the shaft and stick it all the way into the bow. A simpler way, however, is to just take the anchor you've already built and apply some glue and stick it on there. Now these little parts, you're going to size them to fit through that 1 8 inch hole. And here you can see, we'll look a little closer, this is why you have to have really thin balsa wood for these uh, anchor flukes. But once it's in place, lo and behold, you have an anchor. And wait till you see it once you paint it. Last thing we got to do is, since we used really thin balsa wood, we got to harden this bugger. Use some cyanoacrylate glue. Do not glue your fingers to the boat or to the glue tube. And even get it all the way around, right up into that hose pipe. And believe me, folks, this works really good. I have anchors that I made. 25 years ago that are still in place. There you go.